Hi guys, welcome back to On The Farm. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Free Martins, which I'll try to point to her right there. Um, that would be a Free Martin, that's one I raised for my last group of bottle calves, if you guys remember her. Um, she's still around, and these are just some beef heifers we've kept back, but not gonna be talking about those today. We're gonna be talking about the Free Martin heifer and those two red calves over there. So the first thing I want to mention guys, um, as you can see I'm wearing my, well, off-brand Carhartt. Um, it's pretty cold today. Um, the weather has changed within the last two days. Uh, it's dropped down to about 40s, well 40s at night and today it's only supposed to get up to like 53. Um, and it was 90s last week so yeah quite the weather change but um, I have picked up straw for the little bottle calves. I picked that up last week, um, I think two days after I posted that video. So I did get straw in before the weather got bad and nasty, but um, it's been raining quite a bit as well. So it's not really good weather for especially bottle calves. Um, but anyway, so what I'm going to talk about today, like I said, is the Free Martin Heifer here. Um, and these two red steers here. I'll try to go around this way. See if I can move her by herself a little bit. So here she is. Um, as you can see, she's taller than these beef heifers here, but um, she is uh, definitely skinnier. She doesn't eat a whole lot of grain. I don't know why she's always been this way. She kind of stands off by herself and then she'll nibble on grain if she can, but. She really doesn't like grain too much, which isn't really a good thing, but um, so she was born in the fall and these heifers here were born this last spring. So um, obviously she's quite a bit smaller than these heifers here, but um, I don't know, she might weigh close to the same, but. Uh, so the reason why I haven't sold her is because um, obviously she's a heifer. Okay, she's the only heifer that I had as a bottle calf. Um, which means they would have separated her out and sold her separately. And since calves already weren't selling well, she maybe would have brought, you know, I don't know, three, three or 350 bucks, maybe less. Um, Cause right now she probably weighs, I don't know, 450, maybe five. She's not very big, which once again, she is a twin. Um, obviously, free, okay, well, it, for those of you who don't know what a free Martin is, it is when you have a heifer, and a bull calf that are twins. Um, and basically the bull calf, all the testosterone, um, all the testosterone from him blocks the testosterone from getting to her and therefore her um, uterus does not, well, it either grows and it barely grows so it's tiny um, or it, she doesn't have a uterus at all, which is kind of rare, but uh, basically, all free martins are infertile. Now, if you have two heifer twins, they're perfectly fine. They can reproduce, but it's just whenever you have a heifer and a bull calf together, um, you have problems. So, so yeah, she is a twin, which may be why she's smaller, but um, for her, we are just going to end up butchering her and trying to eat her ourselves. Um, whether we take her to the butcher plant or we do it ourselves, we don't know yet, but um, as of right now, We'll probably take her somewhere, but we don't know for sure. Um, but that's the status on her. I think we'll keep feeding her out for another, I don't know, six to eight months. And uh, right now she's a year old, so. Um, so yeah, so maybe six or eight months, she'll be ready to go. She's gonna be pretty lean, but uh, um, she ought to be good eating, so. Um, and then you may be wondering what this cow here is. Uh, this is our nurse cow, Holstein nurse cow. She is raising two calves for us right now. One of her, one of hers, which is her own, and the other one is a beef calf that lost its mother. So she's raising those two, and we'll probably wean those two calves off here in two weeks, and stick two other calves on her. 
now let's find the let's find the red calves here as you can see if she doesn't block me she's normally pretty gentle come on so you can see the size comparison here maybe they all back into me um, he was obviously born the same time as they were um, and I don't know, he's probably 100, 150 pounds lighter. He was supposed to be Red Angus, that's what I was told. Obviously, you can tell he's got quite a bit of jersey in him, but um, as a calf, he did look like a, just a little Red Angus calf, but um, him and the other one, which I can't seem to find right now, I guess he's back there somewhere. Um, yeah, these two, they're doing fine. Uh, plans for them, I'm planning on selling them as um, selling them to people to butcher. Um, as of right now, I'm planning on selling these calves here in, I don't know, um, eight months or a year, and I'll sell them to someone local, family or friends, that wants to um, have their own butcher calf and take them to the butcher and get some meat. Um, right now, obviously, they are getting grain. Um, um, I'll try to pre-sell them beforehand, or at least get an idea of what the two buyers would want because if they want a grass-fed calf um, I'll take him off grain and just feed him on grass for the last four or five months but uh but yeah I'm guessing most people around here will want grain fed because they tend to like the fattier meat but yeah these are the red calves I'll try to find the yellow one and show you real quick he's probably the smaller one of the two but I will say the one benefit of the jerseys um, obviously a red Angus would be a whole lot better if it was a straight red Angus calf. Um, you can see him there. He is a little bit bigger, he looks a little bit better. Um, I can't get too close because one of the heifers here is in heat and he's chasing around, but, um, yeah, one of the benefits of jerseys is that they do finish on grass better than any other dairy breed. Um, obviously they take a lot longer to grow, but they can finish on grass. They'll put on quite a bit of fat just with, um, grass. So that is one of the many benefits, well, one of the few benefits of jerseys, I should say, I should say, um, like I said, they are a smaller calf. They take longer to grow, but, um, I think I can sell them and still turn a profit, especially since I had them on a. I raised him on a cow and I didn't have to uh, spend money on milk replacer. But anyways, I hope you guys got a better uh, better look at some of these calves I haven't shown in quite a while, a few months at least. Um, like I said, it's going to be um, a pretty long time before these are actually sold or eaten. And I just thought I'd give you guys an update so you can see what they look like now. And I thought I'd let you guys know that Angus cross calf that I had with this group of bottle calves here. Um, he was the only Angus cross I had. I took him to the sales barn. My dad actually hauled him for me. I couldn't do it, but uh, he hauled him for me. I couldn't watch him sell either. But he brought $1.30 a pound. And if you remember, the straight Holsteins brought 93 cents. And one of them brought 83. But... So he brought $1.30 a pound, and I think he weighed seven something, or upper 600. Anyway, the total check on him was $975 after tax, after all their fees and all that, so. Um, and obviously I did pay 250 for him originally, um, and I had 60 bucks in milk, or 65 bucks in milk replacer, and who knows how much on grain. But I at least made a couple hundred dollars on him. And if you watch my recap video on how much I made, um, I had already at least broken even. I had like $100 profit there. And so that $975 is straight profit now. So I can say that I made, I made over $1,000 last year, which once again, it's not a whole lot, especially for the work involved. But um, it was a terrible year. 
Um, we had a pretty bad drought. Hey guys, I do have um, another calf coming today, um, but I'll save that for another video since it doesn't really fit in with this one. But um, with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. And once again, if you haven't, haven't subscribed yet, please do so and give this video a thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.